Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, the 26th of March. I'm James Spann. Too cold for March this morning. Everybody below freezing. We'll warm up, though, in coming days. Uh, some thunderstorms late this week and as the weekend begins. Will there be any severe weather? You know, it's the season for that. We'll take a look at that and much more as we go. Let's uh, begin with the water vapor satellite view around the nation early this morning. Big negative tilt trough rotating off the upper Atlantic coast, and there's that big old bomb up there, 976 millibars, probably deeper than that by the time you watch this. Uh, thank goodness the core of that is offshore, but still that is going to hammer Cape Cod with blizzard conditions. Uh, they could see winds to hurricane force in terms of the gusts and snow amounts of up to one foot. What a day it will be for them up around places like Chatham, Massachusetts. Ooh, but down here, we're just cold. It's cold as 23 at Fort Payne. Now, these are not lows. These were snapshot observations at 5 o'clock. Uh, the lows are going to be below these values, but you can see it's below freezing all the way down to Montgomery and Meridian and Auburn. And uh, that's the reason we had the freeze warning in effect. Around the nation, you can see how the cold air has flooded the uh, east. But the cold snaps don't last too long. We'll start to warm up in coming days. Of course, we have freeze warnings all across the deep south. The county's there in black. And tomorrow morning, uh, I think some of the colder pockets in northeast Alabama will see another freeze. Now, this is not for everybody, just a few of those colder pockets up there. We'll talk about that. All right, as we start to warm up, we think about severe weather. This is the convective outlook tomorrow and tomorrow night. The standard slight risk from northeast Texas through much of Arkansas and Missouri. This would include Tulsa, Little Rock, Kansas City and St. Louis. And look at here. This is the day three outlook. And this would be Friday night into very early Saturday morning. Uh, a risk of severe weather. Arkansas, North Louisiana, the northern part of Mississippi and Alabama, and western and middle Tennessee. Uh, not an overwhelming risk, but again, we'll look at this as we go along. And this is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Monday morning of next week at 7 a.m. And pretty good rains. Rain amounts of uh, one to one and a half inches uh, suggested here. And I think that sounds pretty good. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid at one o'clock local time this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars. There's the intense trough rotating off the upper Atlantic coast. Down below that, that old bomb, 957 millibars. Goodness. Uh, east of Cape Cod. Uh, thank goodness uh, that thing is offshore like that. But still, it's going to hammer the coast of Maine and uh, Cape Cod today. But around here, uh, sunny, cool, but not as windy. You can see the surface high sits right on top of it, so not as blustery. The, the winds today should be light. And the high in the middle 50s, that's still 15 degrees below average. Now, tomorrow morning, uh, I do think the colder valleys up in northeast Alabama will probably see another light freeze. So keep that in mind if you're in places like, you know, Valley Head, those traditional colder spots, most locations mid to upper 30s. Then during the day, the winds pick up out of the south. The high will be in the mid to upper 60s. And I can't totally rule out the chance of a little shower somewhere during the day, but the bulk of the day should be dry. And you can see why severe weather is of concern uh, north and west of here. A, a sub-1,000 millibar low north of Kansas City, a tight uh, uh, gradient, strong wind field over Arkansas and uh, uh, Missouri. And they're in the warm sector down there, and that's the reason for the severe weather threat. Uh, now, this is Friday. That initial surface low rolls rapidly up into eastern Canada, and it fills. We've got the trailing front. There's not much dynamic support. The instability values are marginal. Uh, we don't expect any severe weather with this initial batch of showers and storms Friday. Uh, if we have any severe weather, it's with the secondary wave that develops Friday night. This is Friday night just after midnight, 1 a.m. A surface low is near Memphis. 
And uh, again, we would be in the warm sector of that. And then this is Saturday morning at 7 a.m. That surface low is northeast of Nashville with a trailing front and uh, a batch of showers and storms moving in here. So let's look at the severe weather parameters. We'll pick Saturday morning at 7 a.m. And of course, the good thing about that at the time of day is, you know, when the air tends to be most stable. However, on the NAM here, this is suggesting uh, there could be surface-based capes in excess of 750 joules for, for Birmingham South. And, uh, you know, that, that's somewhat unstable. But keep in mind, this is late March and early April. You expect these severe weather you know, indices to be screaming this time of the year. We're in the core of the tornado season. That looks like something you'd see more in January. This is the helicity Zero to three kilometer storm relative helicity Saturday morning at seven. And those values are, you know, certainly adequate to support rotating updrafts. They're not overwhelming. But again, they could support some organized active storms. This is the wind field at about 5,000 feet, uh, 850 millibars. Winds up there, you know, in the 20 to 30 knot bracket. That is not overwhelming. And finally, the energy helicity index, the EHI. And uh, the value, where you see the green, that's where the, the value is one unit. And, you know, you typically want to see that well over one. So it's, it's a marginal look. Uh, the, the shear, the instability, lapse rates, all of this, I just don't think it's an overwhelming threat. It's marginal. But it might be a case where we'll have to kind of stay up Saturday, if late Friday night into early Saturday morning and watch the storms as they come through to see if there is severe potential because you can't ignore the time of the year. You know, this is March the 29th. This is when you expect severe weather. So uh, in terms of the rain opportunity Saturday, yes, showers and storms to start the day. Uh, but the, uh, I think the bulk of the rain should be over by midday Saturday. And a chance Saturday afternoon, uh, maybe even some sun peeking through. The Sunday should be gorgeous, just beautiful. Sunny, high around 70 really nice on Sunday. So of the two days, that's your best outdoor day. And look at that, another nor'easter. Going to be scooting by Cape Cod. Nothing like the one they have today. Monday, just great weather. Sunny, the high in the middle 70s, the same thing Tuesday and Wednesday. So uh, Sunday through Wednesday, sunny, mild days, clear, cool nights, just great weather. But we note a new storm gathering strength off to the west of the state. Now, this is April 2nd. You know, we all know Boy, this is, you know, the, the first week in April tends to be a famous week for severe weather here. It's just something to watch. And then this is the following evening. This is Thursday evening, April 3rd. A deep surface low is near Chicago with a trailing front. And hopefully with the surface low so far north, the severe weather risk down here would be marginal, but just something to watch. Again, that is Thursday evening of next week. That's like eight days away. We'll check the end of the forecast, April 10th, ridging here. That would be a very nice day if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, um, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.